Hello YouTube, it's me Brittany and today we're going to talk about tucking. But before I do that, I want to thank every single one of you who've already subscribed. Thanks so much for being here. I love you all so much. If this is your first time watching, please don't forget to hit subscribe below. That way you can watch all my other videos. I do lots of LGBT things, lots of trans related things, lots of things about myself. I answer any kind of questions you might have, but you can't do any of that if you don't hit subscribe. Now, getting into today's topic, it's like to tuck or not to tuck, you know? It's like this huge, massive like controversy sometimes for trans girls on what we should do. And reality, the, the correct answer is it's really up to fucking you. I didn't mean to rhyme, just slipped that time. But anyways, like really it's all your preference. Um, let's go over some reasons why people might not tuck. Um, for me, um, in the early years, sometimes I preferred uh, to not tuck depending on the situation. Um, mostly if I was at home or if I was like going to see my family um, um, or anything like that like pretty much anything that wasn't like a big ma ma major public thing like I wasn't really like focused on like tucking with a gaff like I did back then because it was extremely painful and so like that's one reason why people may not want to tuck which is totally fucking understandable um, I have some girlfriends that are very well endowed um, and um, uh, tucking is just really, really painful for them, even if they do all types of crazy things to try to, you know, make it look as best they can. It's just going to be very painful for, for me in the early years before I, you know, I've been on hormones for six years plus now. So I have lots of shrinkage. So it doesn't really like, like I'm not much down there for me to really tuck. So I can really just do it now with a pair of panties. But I used to do it with a gaff, which was like a little contraption that basically you made with pantyhose and a sock or the end of the pantyhose and you used it to kind of pull everything back and it, it you wore it for the full day which a lot of us girls did and still do um, it's extremely painful and can cause lots of stress down there um, so like um, that's a definite reason why some people may not want to tuck um, uh, for me um, the biggest issue that comes up with everybody is like tucking is all about fitting this cis normative um, and and I guess yes it is um, so like there's like this anti tuck thing because like oh well I shouldn't have to fit the cis normative and you don't that's why I say it's really your your preference however for some people you don't want to fit the cis normative so you choose not to tuck for others like myself um, fitting in the cis normative no, or fitting out of the cis normative is what really causes my dysphoria and body issues and mental health issues that so so for me I tuck so that I yes can fit that cis normative but it's really only because I feel self-conscious if I don't fit that self -norm. not that I feel like this cis normative is what I'm supposed to be doing like it's required of me like no I just feel more comfortable like I wish I didn't have what was down there um, that I that I had to tuck so um, if I could avoid anybody knowing about it that's the best I can be it's also because I live stealth you know I do the best I can to try to live stealth even though I like I you know work with pride organizations and all these things and I do videos and I tell people you know and I carry flags like I do the best I can to try to not people tell people like out outright I'm trans when I'm just wandering around in public with people I don't know so um, I choose to tuck preferably for that reason. Um, it, it just what make, what causes me dysphoria is being clocked. If any way that somebody could even clock me, then I would, I would have like anxiety attacks and panic attacks and all those types of things. So like, um, that's why I choose to tuck now. Um, in certain certain situations now, I still don't, um, and even that that is even going into public um, now. I because of the fact that I have become so small, um, and I just don't ever see my stepchildren anymore. Um, so like, I don't really have to worry about too much. I sometimes don't really worry about tucking too much, especially in the summertime when I'm wearing like a dress, like a nice summer flowy dress, like. I'm going to be wearing panties probably underneath it, but like, am I worried about having everything tucked in and, and tight and neat um, like I would if I were wearing leggings? Probably not nearly as much. And then I'm also, anytime I'm at home, I'm, sometimes I don't even wear panties, <laughs> but like, um, that's just my own story. Um, but like, so like, 
it's it's all about you being comfortable so like this whole to tuck or not to tuck you know what's the right answer it really is just all about your comfortableness and the situation that you're in um because that's really what it comes down to me like i have no problem in the summer just wandering out in a dress and it doesn't give that doesn't bother me but if i were to wander out in leggings or go to a yoga class where in some instances i sometimes wear two thongs to double tuck for like a, a public yoga class. I don't want anything to come out no matter what. Um, so like it, it really all just depends on the situation. So like don't let anybody like talk you into saying, oh, you need to tuck. I have a girlfriend who never tucks and she goes out with me and our friends and we're all tuckers. And it's just like, all right, rock that big thing you got, girl. I mean, uh, so like, don't ever let anybody like tell you what you should and should do. It's always just always going to be up to you. Um, however, like the whole cis normative argument that I explained, you know, sometimes some of us are okay with fitting that cis normative. If you don't want to, that's up to you. It's also, again, part of your choice. Um, I hope this video was really helpful. Um, I love every single one of you guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you have not already. Um, thanks so much for being here. Remember, you can find me on Facebook and Insta at Brittany Rose, um, Twitter at Brittany Rose too. I love all of you guys. Um, bye bye, everybody.